Kia ora team! Well, um, welcome to my uh, first look, first hour video series, um, where I take a look at a new game or old game or a game that maybe we're not familiar with and play it through for the first hour and have a look at what we think that that makes of the game and whether it's the kind of game we find interesting. This is a game called uh, Open Country. It's a couple of years old now. It's uh, released in 2021 um, by a company called 505 Games. Well, I've not heard of and I haven't heard anything from them. And I haven't heard anything about this game and it hasn't hit my radar in any way, shape or form since its release. So it kind of builds itself as an outdoor uh, hunting stroke survival game with some leveling up and possibly some advancement mechanics and um, and also possibly little side quests and various other bits and pieces in it so i don't know that uh, might be something that we find interesting it might not so i'm going to take a stroll through it in the first hour and you're going to see it as exactly i see it i haven't looked at it i haven't opened it beyond this screen i don't know anything about it other than what i read in the blurb so we're going to take a look at it and see how it plays and see what our opinion is at the end of the first hour so here we go Rush hour, the chaos of big city life. I can't even get a breath of fresh air anymore. With some room to move around. Lifeless buildings and skyscrapers everywhere. This is my home for most of the day. My cue. Nothing but cold numbers and paperwork. I feel trapped in a concrete jungle. And it's slowly draining the joy out of my life. I used to be happy and free. Nothing beats the open country. The poetry of the wind crafting a rhyme on every tree and mountain. The applause of the leaves celebrating harmony. I won't find that in here. I'm done with this rat race. Wasting my best days sitting at a desk under fluorescent lights, swapped in paperwork. I don't know what happens tomorrow. But I do know I have my two hands and the open wilderness. I'm home, the open country. Open roads and big blue skies. Oh, let's let's just go as is, shall we? Here we go, another cutscene. Hello. What brings you around these isolated parts? I've been on the road for a while now. I could use a place to rest before moving on. Gary Kent's my name, and fighting to keep this place alive is my game. It can get a bit wild out there, but everyone's welcome to my crumbling wilderness accommodations. I saw this place by the road, and I thought I'd check to see if you have any rooms. Well, as a matter of fact, my Snow Ridge Lodge takes great pride in being a place of friendly shelter. But alas, as you can see... These are hardly premium conditions. Well, hey, now that you mention it, the place could do with a few light touches here and there. No need to sugarcoat it. The place has seen better days. You know, I think I'm gripped by a spontaneous liking of you. Here's my proposal. You look like someone that can handle the wilds. I'm not as young as I used to be, and this here establishment is falling apart under my very eyes. I'll let you refuel and stay for free if you help me out with a few outdoor tasks. Sounds like just the sort of thing I've been looking for. <laughs> I appreciate your willingness to help. In fact, let's throw you straight into earning your stay. Well, you really lost no time putting me to work. I need you to deliver a package to a friendly neighborhood ranger. His name is Adam Douglas Ainsley. Mm, but never call him Douglas. He can't stand that. Uh-huh. And where might Ranger Ainsley be at? 
He's been out and about somewhere between Mellow Meadow and Green Hoof Sanctuary. And how am I going to find him? Here, take this walkie-talkie. You can use this little gadget to contact him. My advice is to go there and call out to him. He'll answer and guide you from there. Okay, I'm on it. Right, okay. Uh, movement's pretty straightforward. Uh, right stick is look around, left stick is move. The left stick seems a little bit clunky, I'd say. Uh, we've got a compass, we've got a clock, and we got uh, what appears to be rest, water, food, and temperature, and electricity. Oh, that's bad. Energy? Stamina, maybe. I don't know. Um, right, so uh, we need to get out of here. Right, here we are. Uh, somewhere between the snow ridge. Oh, I can't. I I cannot navigate anything else. It says navigate up and down, but that's not working. So this is all we got. So uh, you are here. You are here. You are here. Where am I here? It says you are here, but I don't know what that means. Red Lake, Red Rock. Oh, this is quite a... Woo! This is quite a big map. Does it go on all that way? Blimey! Blimey, this could be... This is a big map. What is that? Is that mountain or desert? Or... I assume that's mountain top. Maybe inaccessible. we got river... Uh, rivers marked. Okay. Trails, maybe? I don't see anything in the way of roads. Uh, zoom in. Oh, it didn't like that. That, that, uh, that took me back there. So let's get zoom in. I got question marks. Got zoom out. More question marks. Oh. So you only see the question marks at a particular distance. There's no... Oh, sorry. I keep wanting to use the other thing. There's a ruined cabin. Uh, like, I wonder if that's like a quest because it's got a box, like a like a dialogue box. Anyway, it disappears after about there. So, right. So I guess that's where we're going. Um, this is just area details. So what do I do? Do I hit X? Uh, one of the best parking spots. Oh, there you go. All right. I guess that, that takes me there. Hunger, thirst, and energy. There you go. Some big guys throwing food in the fridge keeps it fresh for 10 times longer. Okay. Handy tip. The grid structures come to be scrapped. I see. Right. Here we go. Uh, this is... I didn't, I didn't do that. Um, right. Oh, let's, let's stop that... Um, no, uh, let's stop that that uh, music volume down a bit because it's um yeah the outdoor music not my kind of thing. Right, you can press R1 to view your current mission objectives. It's a hold one. Reach the camping location. How do I know? Oh, press triangle and open the map menu. Right. Okay. So there's our RV. Our RV is there. We've just come in. We parked there. Sounds like bees. That's me. Uh, we got to go to the lakeside ruins. So that's uh, southeast of our current position, right? There's bees. the 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 level of detail is a bit intense, I'd have to say, but that that's not to say that it's that it's a bad idea. Right, uh, that's northwest. Sorry, I'm just I'm getting carried away. Right, uh, southeast is what we said. Is there a trail? Yeah, there's a trail, man. L3 to sprint. That's sprint. Oh, what was that? A berry bush. So we got berries stored in our backpack. Is that another one? Pick up some berries. So that's cool. Got berries. Uh oh, what was that? I saw it on my map. There it is. Right. Oh, yeah. So it's one of those. We have a bar indicator 
which indicates our objective. Um, yeah, the graphics are a bit, a bit peculiar. They have. What was that? I heard a noise. Um, yeah, they're a bit peculiar, but there you go. Then this looks like the place. I should use a walkie-talkie to contact the ranger. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, you can gather mushrooms. Oh, Ainsley's hat was a collectible, by the way. Raw mushrooms. In order to use the open toolkit by pressing down and use left and right to highlight. So this toolkit. Oh, I see. It's like your hot bar. Hello, Ranger Ainsley. Are you there? Ainsley here. I've been waiting for you to make contact. I need you to set up a camp in the area. You should find plenty of wood and materials. I'll call you tomorrow and give you further instructions. Over. All right. right. I guess I'll get on with setting up that camp then. Resources needed for improvised tinder. I guess that's for the cloth. Got got a rope loot crate, cloth loot crate. Uh, right, uh, more stuff. Right, okay. We got these little crates around. So we find some of our resources lying about. We got rocks for stuff. Do we have an inventory weight? It doesn't seem to. A rock. A couple of rocks? I don't know. What do I need rocks for? More stuff. Let's go through here. What do we got there? You got tarp for shelter. You got more tarp, more rocks, more rope. A supply box. Tinder. Yeah, you take that. Branch. Basic crafting material. Okay. Uh... Right, is that because it's empty? Tarp. Oh, I picked up an extra rock. Live bait. Didn't see that. I hear I hear bees though, which is which is good. What's this stuff over here that's highlighting itself? Leaves. What do I want leaves for? I wonder. All right, what do we got here? Got some more mushrooms. Got another tarp. Tarp. Right, here we go. Look. I got a knife. I got rope. I got a hatchet. I got a supply box. So we need leaves. Uh, is this for the fire, right? Ah, now then. I've suddenly slowed down to a walk. Why is that? I'm holding a knife. I don't know why I'm holding a knife. I don't know how I ended up to hold a knife, but I'm, I've slowed to a walk. Uh, that one. Water flask, binoculars, and a flashlight. Right, let's have a look at this backpack. Uh, what have I got here? Let's. What have I got? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm heavy. Look at that, 75.9. What is that? Proper bandages. I got some berries. Can I eat? There you go. That gave me something. I got some raw mushrooms. I'm not sure about that. Cloth. I've got... Is that one of eight? One of seven, one of three, one of ten. I uh, don't understand that. Now I've got three rocks. I've got ten tarp. Got one hatchet. I got, apparently I picked up a worm. Right, okay. Right, let's not get beyond ourselves. Improvised tinder. Used for starting a fire. Great, okay. So... A, a bow drill. Uh, need a branch. I thought I had a branch. I feel like I picked up a branch. I'm quite hot. I'm in the red in terms of hot. Is that because I'm spending a lot of time outdoors? It's a hot, hot day. 
You are near the ruined cabin. Maybe it's because I'm carrying so much stuff. Um, maybe I can transfer stuff into a supply box. See how much. Yeah, let's 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 see this because we got this supply box. So can we can we move say uh, the rocks in there? No, it just chucks them on the ground. So I can't seem to can't seem to put stuff in the supply box. Oh, move to storage. You see that? I can move the worm to storage. I can move some things to storage. So Right, okay. So the first number is like the identifier. One of two, two of two. And the back one is the total number you have. So I don't need to carry all those tarps, I feel. So let's go to one. Need that. Leaves. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's all fine. Right. So that's all in there. Cool. Sorted. Right. What do we need? We need a branch. Yeah, there's something about the, something about the movement side of things. Um... Oh, okay. How do we get a branch? Can we can we harvest something, or do we just have to find it? Bushcraft doesn't stone hatchet is required when crafting. So a whole lot of improvised stuff doesn't actually tell me well that doesn't look good look at that bear um right so we just what do we do do we run around and look for this stuff that's leaves oh here you go look at this these must be branches we might need more than one of those what do you think Alright, let's get back here. We're gonna light a fire in here. Do we think we could light a fire in there? I mean, that would be good, right? Bow drill. Let's craft away. Right, we got a bow drill. What do we need now? We need a branch and a log and a hatchet for a camp. I guess we're not camping here. Right, well, I, I thought, why is it saying... Why is it saying that I don't have a branch? I have a log. I have a branch. Oh, I need eight. Eight branches and three logs. Right, got it. And one hatchet. What did I put in the supply box? None of that. So I got to just run around and get... Uh, Eight branches and some logs. What about, what's that? Those are logs. Three logs. Branch, we're up to three. Four, five, six. Someone croaking at me? Oh yeah, look, a little froggy. Can you catch the frog? Oh, that was, that was that. Oh, no, he's gone. There he is. Frog! I got a frog. <laughs> What's that? An armadillo? Hello, armadillo. Hey, cute. Uh, right, okay. I don't think... Let's, let's, let's make a camp. Oh yeah, like a shelter. Easy to make. Right. So we need to be able to we need to be able to put that somewhere. Um, it comes with a fire. Um, it, it's obviously not letting me put it around the ruined cabin, much as I might want to. Oh, it, wants, it doesn't mind putting it there. 
What about what about down maybe here near the creek? Yeah, this little pond kind of thing. That's a bit of a slope, which is I didn't want that, but maybe we could put it like there, something like that. Does it object to slopes? Does it object to being close to this? These piles of things, these bushes. Wonder what the rules are. It's sort of right on a trail. I don't think I want to put it right on the trail. I'd like to put it about here, you know? About there. That'll do. Right, start your campfire. Let's get that going. Ignite using the bow drill. Ooh, magnesium flint. Yeah, there we go. Resources needed for grilled mushrooms. Need another branch, need some more mushrooms. Okay. Let's head off this way. Oh, look, branches. Just one. That's fine. Let's take a couple. You know, I wonder if I could improve that with a tarp. We could save. Let's hit save. Cool, cool. All right. Upgrade. What we'll upgrade with? We need uh, make it an outpost. Stash boxes, growth patches, and lamps. You could do a leaf bed. You could do a log bed. Uh, they need tarp locks. Oh, okay. So it's got things you could you could build a better camp. But anyway, let's uh, go to prepare. We're going to grill ourselves some mushrooms. Right. I thought we'd I thought we'd done grilled mushrooms. Did it uh Okay. That seems to have gone a little bit whoop. Did I Oh yeah, look, they're right there. And like what's the what's happening? So I'm grilling three mushrooms. How do I know when they're done? Uh, raw mushrooms, raw mushrooms, raw mushrooms. Do we... I don't know what we do. I think we just keep an eye on it. The third person's a bit, a bit weird. Don't know if there's any way to... Oh, I can kind of crouch down. Says that they're raw. How long does it take for these things exactly? Ah, uh, you don't need to. It's okay. You don't need to do that. Oh, sorry. Oh, left draws the knife and puts it away again. All right. Down is your hot bar. Okay, get rid of it. Up is nothing. Left is nothing currently. I'm a bit, I'm a bit worried about resting and and mucking up these uh, these mushrooms. To be honest, man. It says that they're raw. One raw mushrooms, yeah, yeah, see? So, how do I know when they're cooked? Not sure about this. Um, rest. It says resting time 5.59. Okay. 
okay. Let's just go with that and see where that puts us. Hello, are you there? Sorry for the abrupt awakening. That's all right. Here's the packet. Thanks for taking the time to bring it over. So you're the ranger around these parts? Yeah, that's me, Ranger Ainsley. You know, these parts are beautiful and may seem quiet, but it can sure be busy work. It sure is. What brings you around these wilds? I just needed to get away for a while. Get away from the daily routine. I feel like I haven't had a rest as good as last night in years. I understand. You know, seeing as you're set for a change of pace, I could use a capable hand to help around. I'll reward your help, of course. You looking for a partner? Yeah, you could say that. How could I refuse a ranger? All right, then. Glad to hear it. I'll be around the Snow Ridge Lodge later. Check with me, and I'm bound to find some work for you. In that case, I'll see you around. Excellent. Well, I got the head off. Duty calls. Take care, partner. Uh, right. Oh, the grilled mushrooms are done, are they? And my campfire... I can extinguish that for now. I don't need that out there. It, uh, ah, I, I like. Why is it showing the thing? Uh, because I pinned the menu. Uh, sorry, pinned the recipe. So I don't know if that uh, campfire. Now, what what if interact with a campfire? Prepare. Uh, the recipe is if I unpin it. Yeah, there you go. So that's uh, pinning things appears on the left hand side of the screen. So you're looking for stuff and you're looking for everything else. You're looking for all the rest of it. Um, right. So there you go. So we got this. We're here. We're here. There goes whatever that is. Um, and some other things that are going foxes and such like. Um, so yeah, so we're here and we're we're out in the old wildy wildy poo. Uh, we're in perfect condition. We've got stuff in our backpack, including like frogs. I don't know what you're meant to do with the frog. Is it still alive? We've got what is that? An improvised bow drill. Okay, we got our mushrooms, which is fine. Uh, looks like we're thirsty. Um, so. Let's let's see let's see how about getting water because that's probably probably a big thing right getting water so we've found we can grill mushrooms we've found berries that presumably we can also eat um, they might have water yeah they bring your water up a little bit um, we got skills but let's not worry about those for now we got missions uh, return to the lodge and talk to Gary and we have our map. So uh, let's uh, we're we're over here. That's the I guess the ruined cabin. There's lakeside ruins. A small lake sits in the quiet of this forest. It must have been right. I don't know why it's called ruins, uh, but uh, anyway, there you go. Our RV's up there. Uh, let let's just go down and see if we can we can fill up with water or something. What's the story with with the water situation? Um, can we get down here? More mushrooms and things. We have that. Let's use that. What does that say? Oh, we just drink it. Right. So is there any way to gather water? Get water? No. I'm standing in the water. There's no... Oh. Uh, just interesting water effect. Uh, I just run through the water... I didn't get any water. Uh, right. So. Hmm. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. More leaves, more stuff, more thing. Right, okay. Alright, I feel like we've... We've, we've we've had a little bit of a wander and stuff, so we've seen the the lakeside uh, ruins. We've got the ruined cabin. Presumably that stuff is still in the supply box. 
Yes, it is. Uh, that's good. So we found some stuff. We've we've stored some stuff. We've got a camp of sorts. So let's head back up the trail and let's let's carry on with the quest stuff and see what it reduces us to, shall we? You know you're going to hunt. Wear pink clothes. Welcome back, and thanks for the help. I spoke with Ranger Ainsley, and he sounded quite pleased. Here's your reward. Thank you. First order of business will be to get our meat stocks back up. This past winter has left our humble establishment a little thin on the food front. There's plenty of small game out and about in this area if you know where to look. You can use that nifty RV of yours to get around most of these parts. Just tell me where to go and what to look for. Right. Let me show you on this here map. Look here. The place is called the Mellow Meadow. Plenty of rabbits out there. Here. Come back with some game meat. Half a dozen pieces, more or less, should do it. What sort of critters am I going to find around there? Oh, rabbits, woodchucks, and the likes. If you need more bullets, come back and I can give you more. All right, I'm off. Good luck. Some experience and some dollars, eh? And now I got a rifle. A lever action rifle. And that's that. So, is there anywhere to, to stock up my water? I mean, I'm just... Um, I'm interested with the concept of, of water <laughs> as as a survival mechanic for a start. Um, but I guess it hasn't come up yet, so there we go. So, back out to Mellow Hills, and we're looking to bag some stuff. Um, rabbit, woodchuck, what do got? Armadillo, badger, fox squirrel, porcupine, white-tailed jackrabbit. Uh, we can run across a black bear, a bobcat, a coyote, or a wolf. A prong or an antelope. Right, let's head out. Right, we're here. Go to my inventory and equip a weapon. Right, we got equip. Sure. Okay. Right. That's L2 to aim. That's duck. I'm assuming R2 is fire. So, okay. I wouldn't really be running around with a gun in my hands, but not unless we got to somewhere where there was some game. Where would we be looking? There's, uh, what's that up there? Uh, let's not jump. So I can't, I can't walk while I'm crouched. I can only. G oh no! It's it depends on how much you push the stick, how fast you you move. Because I'm presuming that this game here is going to leg it as soon as it sees or hears me coming, right? What exactly is that? What exactly it is, is gone. What did I see? I saw something move. Up behind one of those trees, I thought. that look like an armadillo
So I wonder if they like this patch. Where's the map? Let's see if there's any indicators on the map. No, no big indicators on the map. Oh, what's this? Oh, Mellow Meadow. Rabbits everywhere. Check the map, bro. Where are we headed? Is that south? Yeah, south and a touch on the eastern side. Oh. Is that tracking automatically? It it did it it didn't. It didn't it didn't. You are near Mellow Meadow. So that you probably went by up. Nah, that's alright. Yeah yeah. Watch the detection meters on the top left of the screen. You easier to detect crouch and walk to minimize noise and make yourself harder to see. Oh, you can walk while crouched. Okay. Mind the wind direction. You can monitor at the top right. Oh, I see. Yeah, they're not going to like that. Did I get one? I feel like I got one. There it is. Yeah, it sort of tracks a little. But as soon as you kind of touch it, it comes off track. Which is which is interesting. So, where It was right here. Oh, there it is. How far are we? Yeah, you see it. Mm. Oh, hello. I think that makes three. If I can find it, there it is. Hello, Foxy. Fox and socks. I feel like uh, I've got three. Yep, return to the lodge. So, I've done a spot of hunting. And that's what hunting looks like. There's a big deer over there. Look, is it a deer? It's not on our list of things to do, mind you. There's a bunch of cabins over there. Right, let's go. Let's head back. Let's, let's do it a bit at a time. Spread. More experience, more bucks. No drama, llama. Oh, well, sounds like something that ought to get done. Oh, it certainly does. Is the gist of it. I need you to head on down to Greenhoof Sanctuary. It's an old place which used to be used to offer shelter to injured wildlife and the likes. It's been sold off to a new investor, and I have some supplies left around there. I need you to head on over there and gather them up. Are these supplies easy to carry? Well, no, but there's an ATV parked up down there. Take it for a spin around Green Hoof and load all the supplies you can on the ATV. Drive him back to the front of the sanctuary, and I'll take care of the rest. Mm, well, all right then. I'll get on it. Wonderful. I'll be waiting here for when it'll all be done. Hello? No, not so much as how do you do. Well, he did give me a hello, I suppose. Uh, I'm I'm still heading out there. Where where do I have to go to? Where is this wildlife sanctuary? Well, 
Well, it ain't showing. So I'm assuming I'm going there. Oh, interact with animal tracks or droppings and follow a scent cloud to follow a bigger game. When you put multiple, use the cycle between them. Yeah, I, I saw that. I did see that. Thank you. I did see that. Uh, right, let's see then on the map where we're we going. And we're going up this ways to the dam. This is an old dam that used to make electricity for the whole park. Uh, green hoof sanctuaries. Okay, let's move things. Okay, so we're um, we're past the RV. Uh, we're heading out to the dam. Oh, another critter going down the hole. There's the dam. Travel to the dam. Yeah, I'm at the dam. I am at the dam. Quite the dam. So, now what? Find the valve control and stop the flow of water. Why? What has this got to do with anything? I don't... I don't understand that. I mean... Okay, and it just now wants me to return to the RV. Uh, alrighty then. Uh, now what? Did I go back? That seems a bit weird. I was supposed to go out to Greenhoof Sanctuary, wasn't I? Or did I or did I miss something? Hey. Hi. Uh, Gary won't talk to me. Nancy Dean wants to trade with me. There's a strange Hello. lady. Standing by the fire in glasses. Indoors. Sunglasses. It's Roy Orbison's hey. sister. That's a guy. That's that's that. That's Nancy's a trader. We can buy, we can sell. We can we can buy a knife. Uh or we can buy an axe. Uh we could buy a lever action rifle, which we already we have all of those. We can't sell her anything because she's not interested. Uh, we could buy a med kit. We could buy ammo and bandages and inflammatories, antiseptics, batteries, canned beans, mixed veggies. Right, okay, we can buy a hat. Different kinds of hats, shirts, cargo shorts, berries, barberries, mushrooms, tarp, cloth, honey, and rope. Okay, so she sells gear. That's all right, Nancy. Hello. Um, right. I'm 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 now confused. So that's that's confusing. Um, use the RV to travel to. Oh, right. Sorry. That's why I'm confused. I'm supposed to be going f to to their Greenhoof Sanctuary, not to the Snow Ridge Lodge. Let's go there then. If you want to disable floating markers, okay. Temperature drops at night. Yeah, but it does. Right, Greenhoof Sanctuary. There's uh stuff to do. Like go find an ATV. Hello, oh. hello, hello, Miss Finley, are you here? Yeah, just a sec. You here on behalf of Gary? Indeed I am. All right, listen, I'm super busy doing this place up, so here are the keys to the ATV. It's parked just outside. You find Gary's stuff in the back. Go pick it up, drop it off. Uh, thanks. Anything else? Yeah, don't scratch my baby. No, of course. Right, okay. Go find an ATV, take it for a little spin, surround back. Not around this back. There it is. 
there's a gate. The gate is shut. The gate is not shut. The gate is mostly shut. The gate is to prevent me from doing stuff. Right. Oh, hold on a second. <laughs> I mean, the first thing you want me to do is do an incredibly crazy jump track. Um, don't scratch my baby. I'm feeling a little bit worried about this. Is this is this absolutely necessary? Well, it isn't the easiest thing to drive. Let's let's say that. Well, this is it's quite the obstacle course just to get out of here. And this is just to get his stuff. Am I getting it from here? Just out of interest. What does it say? Use the ATV to collect the toolbox from the tool shed. Right. Circle to get off. Where's the toolbox? Is this the tool shed? Uh, there we go. Cargo. Right. Collect the supplies from the large garage. I'm assuming we're heading off this way. That is not the large garage. Is this a large garage? It seems shut. Outdoor drives. Is that the I think it's locked. Oh, okay. Is it I'm not really getting an idea of where I'm supposed to be, to be honest. The large garage. I should bring the ATV closer. Oh, should I? Alrighty then. Right, let's pick it up. Return to Amy with the ATV. off your ATV scratch free good good I look forward to seeing what Barry will do with those supplies hey by the way come around here again whenever you want to try some of my vehicle crap check out the track list right up on the wall over there be my times if you can I'm working on finding new drive routes around these parts Use the RV to return to Gary. Okay, and she does a little bit of something else for you to do. Let's go back to Snow Ridge Lodge. Welcome back again. Thank you so much for helping with those supplies. I'll put them to good use on starting renovation on this here place. Oh, you're thinking of making some improvements. Buddy, this place will be unrecognizable. Here's something for your help. Thanks, Gary. More experience, more bucks. And I'm guessing over here at skills is where you can do more stuff. I've got XPs. Apply skill point to sneak. 30 of two tokens needed to decrease the noise and everything. You can do that. Resistance to cool. Hunter Chef. 
Number of stat points received after consuming food is interested. Okay. Uh, metabolism. Water retention. Intuition. Advanced intuition. Resistance to heat. Outdoorsman's lungs. Nine lives. Iron Man. Heavy sleeper. Energizer. Atlas. And spotting. Uh... Right, okay, cool, you could do that. Oh, they got, uh, sorry, you got weapon skills as well. You got a whole list of weapon skills here. And you got crafting skills for medicine craft and Bushman, Emperor of the Bits and Pieces. Right, well, yeah, isn't that interesting? Is that... Uh... Right, well, I'll just, I'll let the credits play for 5 of 5 games while we um, we have a chat. So, there you go, it's interesting. It's a, it's a funky little game. It's, um... It's a bit clunky to operate, a bit clunky to move. Obviously, you've got this uh, this story unfolding where you're going to help this guy get his lodge back in gear and back into order, and um, you know go out and, and do a few tasks and things. And presumably, eventually, you'll you'll go a little bit further and travel a little bit further and have more time to to spend out. And maybe uh, some of it becomes a little bit more open world. Um, and you just you know you're just going and exploring and and doing your own thing um yeah i don't know it's it's interesting i'm not sold as a first hour it doesn't it doesn't sell itself to me very well that this is going to be something that's um it's got a long, lot of longevity but um yeah you never know you never know anyway there you go uh that's it first look first hour you've seen it you've seen it how i've seen it You've seen the kind of things that you, get, the, that you do in it and the kind of progression it has and where it's kind of going and whether that's the kind of relaxed pace for you or not that you want to do, entirely up to you. So there you go. So please, please, please drop a like. Please join the subscribers for the channel. Um, please post any comments. Have you played it? Have you done it? Um, are you interested in it after watching it? Are you not interested in it? What do you think? And that's it. Ta-ta for now. PlayStation.